the next episode of the microbiology tube so today we'll be talking about the complement fixation test so first what is the complement so complements are the proteins so these proteins are are the part of the humoral immunity so whenever any kinds of the antigen enters into our body so the complement proteins will inhibit that kinds of the antigens so complement proteins you know this attaches to the antigen and antibody complex but be sure that complement proteins are unable to bind with antigen alone or the antibody alone so complement proteins can only bind when there is the antigen and antibody complex so if there is if there is the only the antigen suppose this is the antibody suppose this is only the antibody so the complement protein suppose this is the complement proteins so it won't be able to attach here so if there is the antigen so the complements proteins is unable to attach to this antigen only when there is the antigen and antibody complex the complement proteins will attach so here in this in this uh, complement fixation test so the rbc is is used as the indicator there we use the sieve rbc and these rbc are called the sensitized rbc so sensitized rbc are this is the rbc of the sieve and there is the attachment of the antibody so this forms the antigen and antibody complex so this is the indicator so sensitized rbc is an indicator so the general principle is that so you know there is one complement proteins called as the terminal complement cascade so c789 so c789 proteins are responsible for the membrane attack so it will attack the cell membrane and prost the cell so similarly the rbc is also a kind of the cell so if the rbc attaches with the c78 so if the rbc attaches with the c7 seven eight nine complement proteins then what happens it will browse this browse this cell wall and all the rbc you know the rbc ingredients that is inside the cell will come outside so after after this induces a leakiness so that can be visualized by the calorie calorie meter so the calorie meter so this can be visualized by the calorie meter so first procedure is that the passen serum is heated to 56 degree centigrade so why the passen serum is heated into the 56 degree centigrade is that the complement proteins is present inside the human body the complement proteins are present in the serum so inhibit to inhibit the complement proteins that is present in the serum we will heat this uh, serum into the 56 56 degree centigrade so after heating the passen serum at 56 degree centigrade we will add the antigen so antigen so first what will we do we have the serum so first what we do <coughs> we have the serum then after then after what we do is that in the serum there is the in the serum there is the antigen so then after what we use we use the antigen so in the serum there is the antibody and we use the we put the anti anti antigen so if there is uh, if there is the anti antibody in the serum and if we put the antigen so there will be the formations of the antigen and antibody complex so then after what we do then after we add the complement proteins so then after we add the complement proteins so what actually happens is that if we put the antigen there in the serum if there is the presence of the antibody then there will be the formations of antigen and antibody complex so then after we put the complement so if there is the antigen and antibody complex the complement proteins will attach to this antigen and antibody complex okay so then after what happens so the mixer is heat incubated at 37 degree centigrade for 30 minutes in order to form the antigen and antibody complex then c rbc is is added to the mixture along with the rbc of the c rbc so this means we will add the then after we will add the rbc which is called the sensitized rbc will be attached so so actually what happens so actually what happens so if there is the formations of an antigen and antibody complex so for example in the serum if there is the if there is the antibody there will be the formation of antigen and antibody complex then there won't be and then there will be there will be 
there will not be any complement for the rbc to bind the antibody rbc complex so if there is the antigen and antibody complex then after what we add we add the complement proteins the complement proteins will be will bind to the antigen and antibody complex then after what we do we add the sensitized rbc so after the addition of sensitized rbc what happens is that all the complements are being used up by the antigen and antibody complex so all the complements will be complement proteins will be attached to the antigen and antibody complex there won't be any free complement to bind to the rbc so what happens rbc won't burst so no any red coloration will be formed but in case of the negative for example if the patient is not it doesn't have any of the antigen so sorry antibody so for example if the patient doesn't have the antibody so what happens if we put the antigen so what happens there will be the only the antigen so there won't be the antibody so will the complement proteins bind to it so the complement proteins won't bind to this this won't bind to this antigen so this is the antigen so the complementary won't bind to the antigen because for the binding of complement proteins it requires the antigen and antibody complex not the antigen alone or the not the antibody alone so what happens is that there won't be com there won't be the attachment between the antigen and anti anti antigen and the uh, complement proteins so after what we add we add the rbc this rbc i'll call the sensitized rbc so rbc in which there is the in the rbc in which there is the antigen sorry antibody then after what happens there is the sensitized rbc so the complement proteins will bind to the sensitized rbc so the complement proteins will bind to the sensitized rbc and as i have already told that there is the complement called c7 8 and 9 so this is responsible for the membrane attack so it will cross the rbc so it will cross the rbc and here all the red coloration will be seen so if the red coloration will be seen then after it is called the test is called the negative so actually in other tests the positive result gives the color but in complement fixation test negative test gives the color so this is all about the complement fixation test so if you see here so the complement fixation test can be more be demonstrated by this figure so first this is the reactive means this is the positive case and non reactive means this is the negative case so this is the negative case so you can see here if there is the presence of the serum in the antibody then if we add the antigen there will be the formations of antigen and antibody complex so after the formations of antigen and antibody complex so what happens we add the complement proteins so these complement proteins will be added to the antigen and antibody complex then after what we add we add the sensitized rbc actually all the complement proteins are utilized by this antigen and antibody complex so no any complement proteins will be there to bind to the to this rbc sensitized rbc so sensitized rbc won't be brushed so this will this will settle in as a plate in the in the down of the test, test tubes so there won't be the formations of any color but in case of the negative color so if you see here the serum doesn't have the antibody this is the case of the negative negative case so whenever we add the antigen antigen the antigen are free and then after what we do we add the complement proteins and as you can see the complement proteins and the antigen cannot bind because for binding of the complement proteins it requires the antigen antibody complex so what actually you do then after we then after what we do we add the com we add the sensitized rbc sensitized rbc you know the sensitized rbc are are the those rbc in which there is the attachment of the antibody so what happens is that the complement proteins can easily bind to the sensitized rbc so he like here the sense the complement proteins will bind to the sensitized rbc so there is the next complement proteins called, called c789 so these are responsible for the membrane attack so this will cross the rbc and it will produce the color like this given in this test tube so this can be you know attached by the colorimeter so actually this can be attached by the colorimeter c o l o colorimeter so colorimeter means according to the intensity of the color the concentrations of the uh, the according to the um, according to the color we can determine the uh, determine the <coughs> the negative or the positive case so thank you for watching my video so if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share the video thank you